was a very exciting day on Saturday. City TV's Mike McCourt was honored on the weekend by the Association of Electronic Journalists with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, he's been in the broadcast industry, I don't know if you knew this, more than 40 years as a reporter, anchor, commentator. Okay, many, many accomplishments. He was actually the first Canadian television journalist in communist China. Mm. He interviewed Yasser Arafat. He had cocktails with the Queen of England, the Prince of Wales, and Princess Diana. And he interviewed every prime minister from Diefenbaker to Mulroney. Wow. Well, here's a look at his extraordinary career. Get over this notion that there's something wrong with Calgary. Some Center. broadcasters in the twilight of their career. This is a significant moment. Lose their edge. But here's the point. Mail it in. And what kind of a role model is established for the kids? Not really Mike McCourt. At 66, he's still doing what he's always done, telling good stories. For more than 40 years, for print, radio, television, and today for the World Wide Web, Mike McCourt has been witness to and reported on more than most of us could imagine. His resume begins on the prairies, where after graduating from the University of Saskatchewan, the young bespectacled McCourt cut his teeth at the Saskatoon Star Phoenix. As the saying goes, the groceries are now in the bag. But with those pipes, broadcasting called. In the mid-60s, McCourt covered the legislature for CFQC in Saskatoon. After two years, he moved on to the CBC as a national radio and television reporter, and then a foreign correspondent. The young reporter from the prairie was telling stories that would make history. The Democratic Convention in Chicago. The assassination of Martin Luther King. Now over to Mike McCourt in Memphis, Tennessee. I've talked with a few people in Memphis about the uh, funeral services in Atlanta this afternoon. Mainland China, the war in Vietnam. In the 70s, McCourt changed Canadian networks but continued to cover the world's hotspots. At CTV, he reported on the fall of Saigon and worked on Parliament Hill and then the White House. In the 80s, he was among the first of many talented Canadian journalists to jump to the American networks. McCourt joined Frank Reynolds, Max Robinson, and fellow Canadian Peter Jennings on ABC's World News Tonight. Here's ABC's Mike McCourt. The embassy staff working elsewhere in the city now is preparing to release the bodies of American victims on Saturday. Based in Johannesburg, Cairo, and Rome, McCourt covered the Iran hostage crisis, the hijacking of TWA Flight 847 in Algiers, and in 1982, the bombing of the U.S. Embassy in Beirut. After 20 years on the road and with enough experience to fill a hundred resumes, Mike McCourt came home. Good evening. In 1986, the reporter became the anchor. McCourt, older, wiser, and without those horn-rimmed glasses, returned to Winnipeg and the CBC to report local news. In the 90s, he became news director, morning anchor, and tried his hand at editorials at CJOB Radio. After a few years in government relations, McCourt moved west to Calgary, where he found a new young television station, more than happy to have a man of his considerable depth and talent on its roster. Mike McCourt brings you the inside story that only Calgary's most experienced reporter can deliver. Part of the A-Channel news team. And when the unthinkable happened, Mike McCourt found himself covering a different kind of war. Except that it is wreckage of unimaginable scale. He spent a week at Ground Zero filing a series of memorable reports. This guy, for years, has been breaking the law deliberately. Today at City TV, McCourt pulls a regular ship, covering politics, doing features, and mentoring the next crop of broadcast journalists. Mike McCourt, enterprising reporter, engaging commentator, consummate professional, still telling a good story. For your city, I'm Mike McCourt.